Hello all, in the last uh, episode of this vlog, if you will, I told you that I was printing out some practical things, in this case uh, shelving holders for a shelving unit that I have in the kitchen of my home. That's what these are. This is printed on my Elegu Mars resin printer, uh, designed by myself. I took the original item and I took some very precise measurements using a spanner or I think that's what you call this, the, the measuring guide. It's one of these digital caliper, digital spanner, whatever, where you basically you turn it on and you can either use this side to measure width if it's something small or this side to measure the size of something and it tells you right there. Uh, after measuring the size of the items for the, that originally this was based off of, I went ahead and went into Thingiverse, I'm sorry not Thingiverse, Tinkercad, and I created this design on Tinkercad and exported it as an STL and then I was able to put it into my printer programs my slicing programs and print it up. And so that's one practical thing that I've printed with my 3D printers. I've done other practical things. Uh, one of our, my brother-in-law had a, his son had a goalie net, or not a goalie net, a uh, play bowl writing pen. And that had had a post connector that failed and I measured it out and I printed out a new one for him and apparently it worked really well last I heard. Uh, another friend of mine had a event tent pavilion uh, not like Renaissance Festival pavilion but an actual canvas pavilion type of thing uh, and they ended up having a problem where they lost or broke one of the pieces that all of the poles slot into. So they gave me the information on it and I took some measurements and I was able to reproduce something that was close enough within the time that they needed for them to be able to use the pavilion. They still went ahead and ordered a brand new pole holder and I don't blame them for that because quite frankly a PLA pole holder will probably only last you for a couple a couple, three, four times that you use it before it just gives out. Um, but yeah, those are the practical things that I've been printing. The, the next thing I've been printing is the parts for the new Hypercube. Um, it's a Hypercube is a printer. You can look it up here online. Uh, here on YouTube, the gentleman who created it uh, has instructional videos from a few years ago. I am not using his full design. I'm basing my design off of his. There are at least two things. One, There's at least one thing I'm doing different and that is the size of the build platform on mine is going to be about one foot by one foot uh, or possibly slightly larger. And his was originally a nine by nine which is what I have right now in my Wanahou 3 P3 clone. So I really didn't need another one of those, but having a larger printer, a uh, larger format printer would be really nice. The other thing I'm looking at is there is a idea, the way that his, the way that the Core XY works is that instead of the, the extruder moving up as it extrudes, the actual bed moves down. His original design had the lead screw and the two support poles right next to each other. So three things right in a row and everything slid up and down on it. One of the things I've been noodling with or toying with is the idea of putting a lead screw on both sides of the print bed and having them having them synchronized so that the bed moves up and down on two motors rather than on a single one 
to add hopefully some stability because that was one of the things that he actually mentioned was an issue early on and also perhaps to uh, make sure that my foot one foot by one foot or possibly larger print area does not simply fail lean down etc so that's where I am with that uh, the some of the items should come tomorrow some of the screws so I might be able to start assembling some of the multitude of parts that I've printed out for the new printer and get at least some of it started some of it's gonna have to wait until next month some of it might wait until January February time frame but my hope is that by March I'll have a fully functioning hypercube we will see with that uh, happy Thanksgiving week stay safe stay healthy and uh, be good to yourselves talk to you all later